You're watching France 24. We're going to break into Arts 24 now to bring you this live uh, developing story. We now have a new prime minister here in France. It's 34-year-old Gabriel Attal, the former education minister, who's now making history as the youngest prime minister in the Fifth Republic, as well as the first openly gay prime minister. We're going to go right now live to the Elysee Presidential Palace, where France 24's James Andre is standing by. James, what more can you tell us? Well, we are still waiting for official confirmation from the Elysee Palace, but most French media outlets, including the straight broadcaster France Info, are giving uh, this name. Gabriel Attal has been chosen uh, by uh, Emmanuel Macron to be the new prime minister, so 34 years old. He is the golden boy of uh, the uh, Macron political system. He has risen with uh, Emmanuel Macron who named him, he became a minister uh, before he was 30 years old at 29. Uh, that was uh, a few years ago now as uh, Macron rose to power. He was very good when it comes to uh, communication. He was the spokesperson for the government. He was also uh, the education minister until today, this morning. He was uh, actually uh, holding a meeting with the, the head of uh, schools here in France, 14,000 of them online, uh, still as we were waiting for uh, his uh, nomination. And uh, he was also the budget minister uh, just before uh, he took the education. So, yes, the youngest and first openly gay prime minister of France with uh, many tasks at hand. Now, uh, the next step is for him to be formally named as prime minister, and then he will have to form his government. Mm. And of course, uh, as these reactions, as this is already starting to come out, we're getting reactions, uh, notably from a uh, far-left politician, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who says, uh, with uh, Attal's naming, the function of prime minister will disappear and become a spokesperson from Mélenchon. What, what other kind of reactions do you think we're, we're likely to have about the naming of Gabriel Attal? Well, one thing to note about Gabriel Attal in the recent polls, he uh, is popular. He is uh, one of the rare uh, French politicians and members of government who uh, indeed enjoys... Uh, he's the most popular of them, actually, uh, in recent polls. And yes, indeed, you were talking about Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Well, indeed, on the extreme left wing of French politics, we can expect to hear uh, the same uh, as they were saying about Elizabeth Bourne previously, as indeed, uh, this morning, uh, spokespeople for, La, for Les Insoumis uh, were saying that indeed she'd been a good soldier, that she'd been uh, implementing uh, Macron's uh, policies. Jean-Luc Mélenchon was always pointing that indeed, Prime Minister has become a function of simply uh, a transmission of what was coming out of the Elysee Palace. Well, it's like that they will be. It's likely that they will indeed be on the same line with Gabriel Attal. Gabriel Attal, who's very close to Emmanuel Macron, is seen as a, uh, uh, someone who has risen to power with him, who is on the same political line as him. Uh, Gabriel Attal, who is formerly uh, from uh, the left wing of French politics, he was a member of the Socialist Party uh, for 10 years before he joined uh, Emmanuel Macron's movement, and uh, who indeed started very young, and uh, who uh, is, you know, from, uh, from the western uh, uh, suburbs of uh, Paris, started, uh, you know, as becoming a a political activist when he was only 18. So, yes, very short and very, you know, strong and fast political uh, career there that is uh, on track and rising to uh, the post of prime minister. Indeed.